Steve Schwartzman, a Wall Street legend, made a bold prediction. He believes the U.S. economy will dodge a recession. This comes amidst a heated presidential race. Schwartzman thinks the outcome won't matter. He sees both candidates as pro-growth. This optimistic outlook surprised many. The economy faces headwinds. Inflation remains high, interest rates are rising, global uncertainty is growing, yet Schwartzman remains confident. Is he right? Let's examine the facts. Steve Schwartzman is no stranger to financial markets. He co-founded Blackstone, a private equity giant. He's navigated countless economic cycles. His insights carry weight. They are based on decades of experience. Schwartzman's words matter. When he speaks, people listen. He is a respected voice in finance. His views can influence markets. His prediction of no recession is significant. It has sparked debate among economists and investors. The U.S. economy is at a crossroads, facing a multitude of challenges and opportunities that could shape its future trajectory. Inflation has been stubbornly high, affecting everyday consumers and businesses alike. The cost of goods and services continues to rise, putting pressure on household budgets and corporate profit margins. In response, the Federal Reserve has hiked interest rates aggressively, a move aimed at cooling down the overheated economy. These rate hikes are designed to make borrowing more expensive, thereby reducing spending and investment. These hikes aim to curb inflation by slowing down the rate at which prices are increasing. Economists are closely monitoring the data to gauge the effectiveness of these measures. However, there is a downside. Higher interest rates also risk slowing the economy, potentially leading to higher unemployment and reduced consumer spending. The balance between controlling inflation and maintaining economic growth is delicate. Adding to the complexity is the upcoming presidential election, which introduces another layer of uncertainty. Voters are faced with critical decisions that will influence the country's economic policies for years to come. Both President Biden and former President Trump offer different economic visions, each with its own set of policies and priorities. Biden focuses on social programs and infrastructure, while Trump emphasizes tax cuts and deregulation. Their policies could have vastly different impacts on the economy, affecting everything from job creation to inflation rates. The stakes are high, and the choices made by voters will have long-lasting consequences. Despite these differences, Stephen Schwartzman, a prominent financial expert, believes that these divergent economic visions won't derail the economy. He argues that the fundamental strengths of the U.S. economy will prevail. Schwartzman is optimistic, asserting that both candidates are ultimately pro-growth. He believes that regardless of who wins, the focus will remain on fostering economic expansion and innovation, ensuring a resilient and dynamic future for the U.S. economy. President Biden emphasizes government spending on infrastructure and social programs. He argues this will create jobs and boost demand. He also supports clean energy and healthcare investments. Critics argue that Biden's policies fuel inflation. They point to the massive spending bills passed during his presidency. They also worry about the impact of increased regulation on businesses. Section 5. The Trump Card. Deregulation and Growth. Former President Trump favors tax cuts and deregulation. He believes this approach unleashes business investment and economic growth. He also advocates for energy independence and fair trade deals. Critics argue that Trump's policies primarily benefit the wealthy. They point to the widening income gap during his presidency. They also criticize his trade wars, which they say hurt American businesses and consumers. Section 6. Green Shoots in the Economic Landscape Despite the challenges, there are bright spots in the U.S. economy. The job market remains strong. Unemployment is near record lows. Wages are rising, albeit not as fast as inflation. Consumer spending, a key driver of economic growth, has held up relatively well. This suggests that Americans are still confident about the future. However, there are signs that this confidence is waning. Section 7. Consumer Confidence – A Mixed Bag Consumer confidence is a crucial indicator of economic health. When consumers are confident, they spend more. This spending fuels economic growth. However, consumer confidence has been shaky in recent months. High inflation is eroding consumer purchasing power. 
rising interest rates make it more expensive to borrow money. This combination of factors has made consumers more cautious. They are saving more and spending less on discretionary items. Section 8. The Inflation Conundrum Inflation is a complex and multifaceted issue that affects every aspect of the economy. Inflation remains a major concern for consumers and policymakers alike. As prices for everyday goods and services continue to rise, the cost of living becomes increasingly burdensome for many families. While it has cooled slightly from its peak, it is still well above the Federal Reserve's target. The central bank aims to keep inflation around 2%, but recent figures show it hovering much higher, causing widespread anxiety. This persistent inflation is eating into paychecks and squeezing household budgets. Families are finding it harder to make ends meet, as wages have not kept pace with the rising costs of essentials like food, housing, and healthcare. The Federal Reserve is caught in a delicate balancing act. On one hand, it needs to control inflation to prevent the economy from overheating. On the other hand, it must be cautious not to stifle economic growth. It needs to raise interest rates to combat inflation. Higher interest rates can help cool down the economy by making borrowing more expensive, which in turn can reduce spending and slow down price increases. However, raising rates too quickly could trigger a recession. A sudden increase in borrowing costs can lead to reduced investment and spending, potentially causing businesses to cut back or even close, leading to job losses and economic downturn. The Fed is walking a tightrope, and the outcome is uncertain. Striking the right balance is crucial, as the wrong move could have significant repercussions for the economy. The challenge lies in finding a path that curbs inflation without derailing economic progress. Section 9. Geopolitical Risks Loom Large the global landscape is fraught with geopolitical risks. The war in Ukraine has disrupted supply chains and fueled energy price volatility. Tensions between the US and China remain high. These geopolitical tensions create uncertainty for businesses and investors. They can lead to reduced investment and slower economic growth. It is difficult to predict how these geopolitical risks will unfold. However, they represent a significant threat to the global economy. Section 10. The China Syndrome China, the world's second-largest economy, is facing its own set of challenges. Its zero-COVID policy has disrupted manufacturing and supply chains. Its property market is in turmoil. A slowdown in China would have ripple effects throughout the global economy. China is a major consumer of commodities and manufactured goods. A weakening Chinese economy would reduce demand for these goods, potentially impacting growth in other countries. Section 11. A Cautious Optimism In the ever-fluctuating world of finance, predictions are often met with skepticism. Yet, some voices stand out, offering a blend of hope and caution. Steve Schwartzman's prediction of no recession is bold. As the CEO of Blackstone, his insights carry significant weight in the financial community. His stance is not just a fleeting opinion, but a well-considered perspective. It is based on the belief that the U.S. economy is resilient. This resilience is seen in the bustling city streets, the thriving business districts, and the continuous flow of commerce that keeps the economic engine running. He sees positive signs in the job market and consumer spending. The job market has shown remarkable strength, with unemployment rates remaining low and job creation numbers exceeding expectations. Consumer spending, a critical driver of economic growth, remains robust as people continue to shop and invest in their futures. However, challenges remain. Inflation is still high, eroding purchasing power and creating uncertainty. Interest rates are rising, making borrowing more expensive and potentially slowing down investment. Geopolitical risks are elevated, adding another layer of complexity to the economic landscape. It is possible that the U.S. economy could avoid a recession. The combination of strong job markets, resilient consumer spending, and strategic economic policies could steer the economy away from a downturn. Economists are cautiously optimistic, analyzing data and trends to forecast a hopeful economic future. However, it is by no means a certainty. The financial markets are unpredictable, and even the most well-informed predictions can be upended by unforeseen events. Analysts continue to monitor market trends, aware of the potential for sudden shifts that could alter the economic trajectory. Schwartzman's optimism should be tempered with a dose of caution. 
While there are reasons to be hopeful, it is essential to remain vigilant and prepared for any eventualities. Balancing optimism with caution is crucial in navigating the complex financial landscape, ensuring that both opportunities and risks are carefully considered.